Hi, welcome to DJ Fix. Today we're going to be looking at an Ortophone Concord Mark II DJ cartridge. We're going to look at the frequency response. Left so first of all, this is our test record, level. and it's going to play uh, a 1,000 kilohertz uh, or a 1 kilohertz test tone. You can see it right there. Nice sine wave, nice and even top to bottom. And we're going to measure all the other frequencies against that. 15,000 cycles. So the first thing that we'll hear is a 15,000 uh, uh, 15, cycle the signal. And you can see it's a lot taller top to bottom, which means you're going to get a, a louder high frequency response. 12, cycles. Going down to 12K, you see it's also a little louder than our test, uh, our 1K test. It's also a little distorted, so not totally linear there. 10,000 cycles. So there's 10K, and you can see that it's showing some distortion on the bottom there. Kind of looks like a U on the bottom. 8,000 cycles. All right, going into 8K, and you can see the volume is starting to come down just a little bit, and that distortion is still there. So this is your higher frequency stuff like cymbals and hi-hats, some you know, higher you know, synthesizer, sizzly stuff. Here's 6K, um, it's distorted, and here's the level is pretty low there. It seems to be the lowest point so far. 4, 4K, we're getting some of our linearity back, which is good, and it looks like the signal is pretty decently strong. And now uh, 2K looks like we're kind of back to being linear again. So nice, good, strong, kind of lower mid frequency. 1,000 cycles. Here's 1K, even better that this is nice and linear. 700 cycles. Okay, here's 700. 700 looks pretty good. This is, we're kind of dipping into the, the lower end of the mid-range now. Still, like, in a, definitely in the vocal range. 400 cycles. 400 hertz. 400 is looking really good. Nice, strong signal. 200 cycles. 200 hertz. 200 is a pretty good, uh, pretty important frequency. That's where you'll you'll begin to hear kind of the upper end of bass instruments. So we need to, that to be nice and clear. This is nice, 100 hertz. So 100 hertz is usually when you adjust a bass control. Traditionally, the bass control kind of will will do most of its magic around 100 hertz. 50 cycles. 50 is getting pretty low. Nice strong signal, looks very linear. 30 cycles. And finally, this is 30 hertz. So this is your sub frequencies, your really low kick drum stuff, your low synth stuff, your low bass. This is the stuff you really feel in your in your feet more than you hear with your ears. So that seems nice and strong. All right, so there you go. That's the results of the test for the Ortophone DJ cartridge. It looks like um, the high frequency stuff is a little bit hyped. So if you like the cymbals, you'll definitely hear them. A little distortion uh, between about 4K and 12K. Um, and the volume comes down around like 6 or 8K. So your cymbal attack uh, sounds maybe a little bit muted. Or some of your traditionally harsher treble sounds um, will come down a little bit. So it might be a nice mellow, mellower sounding cartridge. Um, the mid-range looks really nice and strong. The lower stuff looks great. So if you are uh, interested in, you know, getting the drums to sound correct, it's probably a great cartridge for you. Always welcome to let us know in the chat what you're thinking about. Um, hit us up on the gram. Send us emails, uh, djfixnyc at gmail.com, and talk to us. Let us know what you want. We're happy to investigate this for you and find uh, the right gear for you and make sure all your stuff gets repaired and sounding great. See ya.